They come from a land far, far away. But they're not Jedi's. <gasps> they are members of the Tongan Defense Services, training with instructors from First Division schools here at Camp Pendleton. Men of a warrior culture learning skills of modern warfare. They're getting a lot of knowledge on the machine guns, uh, uh, a lot of close, close hand combat. Sergeant Siasi Moleni is a native Tongan and serves as a translator for the unit, although language is not what he considers the Tongans' greatest obstacle. The biggest challenge for them is being away from home for, uh, uh, you know, they're, they're, it's a small island, they're not used to leaving home for a long time, and the majority of their, their paycheck is going towards calling cards. Oh, and then there's the matter of home cooking. Being here on, on Camp Pendleton, you know, you know, the Marine Corps ain't going to feed you, you know, pork and, you know, taro and all that, so you got to you gotta adjust and adapt. They've done that pretty good, you know. I think the I think the mess hall, I think the chow hall here is running out of ice cream, because uh, that's the one thing they love the most. Sergeant Mullaney believes the Tongans will have no problem adjusting to life in one of the most dangerous places on Earth, largely due to that warrior heritage. Sometimes get scared out there, and these guys will come out and do their warrior dance out there right after an incoming. Motivate, you know, motivate all the Marines out there. So. Yeah, definitely having a warrior background, that helps out a lot. Ron Swatson, Aloha, 10 News.